Good evening, Norman Soberdick, 70 Tide Mill Road, representing Rational Taxpayers of Hampton. I will not be making too many more uh, presentations uh, between now and the end of the year because I'll be spending a lot of time in Florida. So feel for me. Feel for me. Okay. Yeah. Um, there are four subjects that I just wanted to bring up briefly. The first one, in order to avoid conflicts between the Budget Committee and the Board of Selectmen, and to have transparency, which used to be more prevalent in early administrations. The working budgets had always been put on the website so that anybody, as you're having a discussion with a department head, uh, the public, rational taxpayers of Hampton, the budget committee could all look at the working documents. And last year, where there was a lot of controversy, that wasn't, uh, that didn't happen. And there is, we went to the website, there is a folder call for working work work papers, and when we went to it, it's an empty folder. So we would request that the Board of Selectmen make sure that the website has the current working documents so that everybody could benefit from your <coughs> wisdom and knowledge when you're deliberating with the uh, department heads. It would make it a lot easier in the process. I think we'd go quicker. Second subject is the cable TV fund. In, in 2016, it was $29,000 in that fund when the Warren article was passed. It's now $397,000. And I know there was a meeting of the cable TV committee and they had some proposals. We had been up here talking to you previously and it suggested that the fees that uh, you collect from Comcast be cut in half, so basically providing a rebate to the, the to the cable TV subscribers who in fact the taxpayers, which would mitigate the uh, reducing this uh, uh, $400,000 because it would be lower fees coming to the town. Uh, I know that Mary Louise had sent you a letter suggesting a, another Warren article that reduced the percentage from 100 back to 40, and I think the cable TV a committee should have whatever money they need, but there's an excessive amount of money, and that should really effectively go back to the taxpayers. Um, the third item, which has been a long uh, cry in our throats, has been the commercial trash that the town pays for. I think this subject needs to be, uh, it's an inequitable system, and needs to be reviewed again very carefully. Why certain businesses are given uh, a free pass and their commercial trash is picked up as much as uh, daily and others are not and they pay their own. I, I haven't a clue how the whole process works. I think there ought to be an analysis of the costs of what it, what it takes for the Department of Public Works to pick up the trash and what that represents and for the town to strongly consider Putting it out to, to uh, bid for someone to get the license to take over the commercial trash collection, uh, either as the avoided cost that you're not going to have to pay and pay the town a fee for the right to have the license. Because I remember one point in time there was some concern you'd have all these trucks running around town. Well, somebody paid a franchise fee to take over all these businesses and to, and to uh, pay, charge the businesses for a commercial business expense the town should uh, not only save the money for what it spends, but also perhaps get a franchise fee. The fourth item is I know that uh, Mr. Bean particularly has been trying to see if we can get more of our tax money back that we give from meals and rooms tax. And, and uh, I think like Sisyphus, it's rolling a, a boulder up a hill because those communities that are recipients of our our tax dollars are never going to allow us to get back our fair share. However, there was previous uh, efforts made to have a, a sales tax or a meals and rooms tax legislation in the House that would allow communities such as Portsmouth and Hampton to charge a uh, fee for to add it to the sales tax or, or meals tax and then basically uh, uh, this bill died in, in process, but I have a feeling that it's coming back to life again, and I think together with Senator Ennis and, and our, and our uh, representative uh, group that we should be very strongly advocating 
for the uh, inclusion of a sales tax or, or meals, uh, meals and room tax, so that we can get back a little more of a fair share of our own of our own money. And I think that would be an equitable system, but it's uh, again a hard battle. Thank you for your time. I wish you a happy holiday. See you soon. So. <laughs>